What up everyone, Reed here for Animal Wire, and I don't know about you, but it brings me great pleasure to introduce what the internet is hailing as a real life incarnate of the flying spaghetti monster. Though to the dismay of Chef Boyardee, there are no actual noodles involved. What you're looking at is an animal consisting of mostly gelatinous material. In fact, it's a kind of colonial organism known as a siphonophore. And if you zoom in on the mishmash of tubes here, you'll be looking at just one kind of its highly specialized zoids. They have the sole purpose of feeding where in which they deploy a stinging tentacle to capture prey. But other kinds of zoids have their own tasks, and there can be as many as a dozen or so functional classes found in a given species. For instance, the ones over here on this guy are for movement, whereas the previous specimen has no such type and must rely on the ocean's current to get around. But this is where it gets interesting, because remember these are a colony, or super organism if you will. So every individual zoid is going to be the structural equivalent of say something like a sea anemone or jellyfish, which themselves are organisms, but within the siphonophore, rather than living independently, they all remain attached to one another and furthermore are physiologically integrated. So since the hundreds of identified species have all proven to have their own precise pattern of zoids, the resulting outcome has been some truly magnificent creatures. And this brings us back to our good old friend Mr. Spaghetti Legs, who's a bit more obscure than most, considering he lives in remote deep water areas far from land. But thankfully for us, the footage obtained from an offshore drilling operation made its way to scientists Daniel Jones and Phil Pews, who put their expertise to the test and were able to narrow down its identity from a family of four to just two species. This was based on the presence of the thin transparent wings found lining the immature zoids, and from there it was just a matter of ruling out the other because of a lack of side branching on its tentacles. Yeah, so when they get stretched out like that, that means it's fishing time. So may your tentacles always be live and your hulls be bountiful. Shout out to Lem and Yonar for recommending the topic, with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.